What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Steph and I'm here for another episode of Staff Shorts. I know it's been a long time since we've done one of these, but we are bringing it back along with a relaunch of Tip which was formerly known as Game Giveaways, which was formerly known as Get Games, which will be rebranded again in the future probably. Anyway, today we are going to talk about the new trailer for Red Dead Redemption, I think I'm in love. We are also going to talk about why the South Park The Fractured Butthole is getting so much negative criticism with the release of the most recent trailer. We are going to talk about a free game from us to you. And finally, we are going to talk about the CEO of YouTube starting up her very own YouTube channel. All that and more in today's episode of Staff Shorts. So the new Red Dead Redemption trailer has been released and it looks absolutely fantastic. Although it seems rather than being the outlaw seeking redemption, you're just going full on outlaw this time. Robbing trains, busting up lawmen, hunting and roping. Everything I could ever want from one of my favourite cowboy games. I just hope they pull focus away from the multiplayer a little bit and don't make this another GTA and focus more on that campaign and get it just as good as the original because it was one of my favourite games of all time. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be more like GTA Cowboy? Or do you think Red Dead Redemption is going to stay to its grand massive campaign and still be just as good as the original? Let me know in them comments down below. And a free game from us to you in support of our friends over at Blue Drop Games. Check them out. Have you ever dreamed of being a ninja? Diving across roo rooftops, assassinating your target silently? Well, if that's what you're looking for, we probably haven't got the game for you. The game we are showing you today is called BCE and it's all about cavemen. So what is the aim of the game? The aim of the game is to defend your campfire and you do this by smashing in the hairy skulls of other cavemen. Using clubs, rocks, axes, anything you can get your hands on, you run into your foe and you smash. This will be available on Dashboard under the tip section very soon. Keep an eye on our social medias for the actual release date. And I hope to see you all in game because I'm looking forward to destroying some freedom family. In our next news piece, Ubisoft recently released a new trailer for South Park The Fractured Butthole. Ooh, oh god, think of the children. Not really, I'm looking forward to this game as much as anybody else could possibly be. Although, the recent trailer seems to have brought up some critics' backbones, shall we say. Let's find out more now. So in the trailer, a gay fish attempts to guide his mother, who is uh, very much brown, to the gates of heaven as she rides a unicorn that is farting rainbows, very much in the style of Flappy Birds. Many people have criticised the trailer for being homophobic or racist, but that is not the thing that got many critics up in arms this week over the South Park of Ratched Butthole trailer. Let's talk about what got them really angry. So the South Park creators have been willing to cross pretty much any line imaginable over the last, what, 10, 15 years now as they create the awesome South Park series we all know and love. But critics are saying the only aim of the recently released trailer was to offend and hurt the masses. Well, not the masses. They wanted to publicly shame one person in particular. Mr. Kanye West, how dare they, is what many critics are saying about the trailer right now. While millions of gamers laugh at his expense, how bloody dare you. Anyway, if you want to find out a little bit more about this story, which has got me sort of meh, then check out in the description below the link to the original article that will tell you more about why we need to leave Kanye alone. Oh, that was Britney. To find out more about why the critics care more about Kanye's feelings than the homopho homophobic and racist remarks in this trailer, check out the links in the description where I will send you to the original article. And also let me know in the comments on, and on Twitter, do you find this trailer racist? Do you find it offensive? I'll agree it's edgy as South Park has always been, but I don't see it as particularly offensive. 
And finally, the CEO of YouTube has recently started her own channel. You can go and check out her first video where you will see people like The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, you will see Tyler Ward, an amazing Phil. There's a whole host of interesting tips over on her first video from many, many large creators, whether they come from Vine or Instagram over to YouTube and now have a massive following on YouTube, or whether they are YouTube born and bred. I for one hope to see more of Susan, or Wodge as us close friends call her. I hope to see more tips from her channel and maybe now she's on YouTube herself, hopefully we'll start seeing some more creator-centric updates and some more creator-centric features being pushed to the platform. Please, Susan? So what do you guys think? Is this a PR stunt or is this a CEO genuinely wanting to understand and take an interest in the platform she is running for the future betterment of that platform? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, the fact that she's only in the video for t about 10 seconds and the production quality of the video speaks volumes to me. What's your opinions? Let me know because I'd be super interested to figure out whether you guys think this is a PR stunt or someone genuinely caring about the product they produce. And that's it for another episode of Staff Shorts. If you found this content cool and interesting, give me a little thumbs up and a comment down below so I can carry on making this for you guys. And I will see you in the next episode where we'll talk about another new game release in the tip system, which you can find on your dashboard. That's all for now, folks. I'll catch you next time. Bye!